Hey everybody, I'm Jen Preston. My husband Michael and I are Happier Camper owners. We had the HC1 for three and a half years and we now own the HCT. And in this video, we're gonna help people who are new to camping think about security. And we're gonna cover three topics. The first is how to secure the camper from being stolen off the site. The second is how to think about your belongings while you're camping, whether you're around the campsite or not. And then the third is how do you think about your personal safety? So please like and subscribe and that will help people find this content. So let's go. I think one of the most asked after questions is, how do you keep your trailer from getting stolen? So in this video, we're gonna share some information about what we do and things that you might consider so you feel a little bit more secure leaving your trailer during the day and maybe even when you're in it at night. When you're talking about your camper security, I think the best thing to do is to just take a step back and think about the big picture. How is someone going to be able to steal your camper? Well, they have to either be able to hook it up to their vehicle or they can maybe push it up onto a flatbed truck. So if you think about what that means from a security perspective, how are you protecting the trailer hitch? And then are you gonna do anything to lock up those wheels so that nobody can, nobody can move them? So let's see what we do. So we have a proven industries lock. Um, we used to have a different one, which was kind of a, a lock over the top and then thing underneath, but we saw a video with a crowbar of how easy that was just to, to pop off. The way this one works is still pretty straightforward. This sits in here like the ball hitch would, and you connect it, and then we use the little uh, thing there just to make sure that's not gonna fall out. And then this very solid metal piece slips over the piece that I just put in, and then locks underneath, locks in place. And this would be up, and that's it. Quite loose. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely secure, and that's uh, it's going to take some, take some tearing off. One option as well is they do sell these as locks, pin locks. So, while well, we've been using this just as a pin, you can actually get one there which goes through and has a lock on the end, just as a an extra deterrent. So look at that thing. I don't see that that's gonna be a super easy option to pop off. And if you look at how the ball hitch is covered up, you're not gonna be able to hook the camper up to your truck and drive away with it. You know, a lot of this is about deterrence and not about anything foolproof. And if you think about how you wanna make it hard to move the camper, keeping your stabilizers down, like Mike is doing right now, is just another thing that a thief is gonna look at and think, oh man, I gotta get these things up in order to pull this thing easily. And you know, it's not gonna prevent your trailer from becoming stolen, but you know, the reality is you wanna make yours look less attractive than the camper that's you know down the road from you. One of the things you're not seeing on the camper right now is wheel locks and there's a reason for that. I'll take you inside and explain a little bit more in a few minutes, but first let's talk about some of the things that you can do to minimize the likelihood that you might be targeted on the exterior of your camper. So the first point I would make is if you pull into a spot, if you're boondocking and it feels wonky, there's like, it looks like the local partying spot, there's beer bottles everywhere. If you have any choice, don't park there, move on. And if you do have to park there, don't unhook. Don't put your stabilizers down. Put yourself in the best possible position so that if you need to leave quickly in the middle of the night, the only problem you gotta do or take care of is to get out of the camper and into the car, and then you can just scoot away. A Couple of other things that people do is, see that door? Put a, a pair of really big men's work boots outside your door. It gives the impression that there's someone very large and probably not worth messing with inside. Same thing for, well, we obviously travel with our dog, but you could put a foldable dog crate in the back of your tow vehicle and then just put it out and have it outside the vehicle or your camper at night. Because again, it's just one more deterrent, one more moment for people to think, maybe I don't wanna try to, to take that one. 
the other um, possibility is stickers. There's like pros and cons on this. So you could put stickers on your camper that imply that you're carrying, right? Smith & Wesson or, you know, some kind of hunting club. So I've, I've heard a couple of different perspectives on that. One is that it really could deter somebody from bothering you, but the other is that if you've dropped your trailer and you're off doing something in your tow vehicle, someone sees those stickers, they might think that there's something highly valuable in your camper. It makes it even more attractive. So you have to decide how you feel about that. But um, a lot of campers who are full-time, they have those maps with all the stickers where you can denote where you've been camping. I think those are probably a bad idea because they signal that you're on the road full-time, which means you probably have all your stuff in your camper, which makes it a more valuable target for somebody. So lots to think about. Um, I'm gonna take us inside and then we can cover a few more topics, including those wheel locks. I'm glad we came in, it just started snowing. <laughs> Um, before we talk about the wheel lock, I wanted to mention a few more things. And that's, uh, one is high value items, and two, anything that you are um, bringing to a campsite that might be big and heavy. So, valuable items, take them with you. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, it's just not worth it to run the risk of leaving it in the camper. The camper gets broken into, and you're now missing your laptop, your cell phone, your cameras your drones, whatever it is that you travel with. If it's super high value, recommend leaving it in your tow vehicle when you leave the site. Um, and um, we keep our valuables with us in the camper at night um, so that if you know something happened where the car got broken into, at least the stuff that we need is with us. Um, yeah, that's how we think about our, our high value stuff. If You've got things with you that are big and heavy, let's say a generator. You wanna be able to leave the campsite without moving that. And I've seen people chain that to either the rig or to say a tree. I think there's actual real value in chaining it to the rig because it becomes yet another deterrent to being able to move the rig easily. So that's something to consider. Um, when you're inside the camper at night, think about maybe keeping your car key close by, especially if it's got that red button on it that you can use to cause your car alarm to go off. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to scare the bejesus out of somebody and hopefully they'll go away and leave you alone. So those are probably our top items that we would recommend to people when they're thinking about security. But now let's talk about <laughs> the infamous wheel lock. So we did have, briefly, a wheel lock that we used with the HC1. It was one of those pincer type uh, wheel locks. And we stopped using it very quickly. And that's because we're lazy. And because the kind of camping we did, we just didn't feel like it was that important. We generally camp in national campgrounds and state campgrounds, and there's people generally around, right? And so the likelihood that we felt that somebody was gonna drive away with our camper uh, was low. I think the happier campers, the HC1 and the HCT, are really unusual you know, visually, right? There's not a lot that look just like those, particularly the HC1s, because um, that's got a very unique look. That might be a positive or a negative, depending on how you look at it, right? If I put on my thief hat, if that, is that a thing, a thief hat? Um, I think that it might be attractive to try to break into a camper that's unique looking because maybe I think that there's there's cool stuff in it. Cool looking camper, cool looking stuff in it. I don't know, maybe that's logic. Um, but maybe I would be less likely to steal it because it's so visually striking and might be really easy to spot. Um, unless you're a really sophisticated outfit and you're gonna put these things on the back of a flatbed truck and get them into a a place where nobody can see them, some kind of warehouse or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't think like a thief. So I don't know. There's things, there's things to consider either way. But when we thought about the HC1, even though uh, it's super cute and I'd want to steal one if I didn't have one, um, we just didn't think that our type of camping was high risk enough that somebody would uh, put it on a flatbed truck to get to take it away. And by the way, we actually have somebody in the Facebook group who recommends putting uh, locking lug nuts on theirs. So that's kind of a cool idea. Um, but are we gonna get one for the HCT? And the answer is yes, but it will not be those pincer types. We do plan to do a lot more boondocking in New Mexico. I hope, I, I think that's gonna work out for us. 
Um, and so the kind we're gonna get is, it's like a boot. You know, when you see somebody whose car has had been ticketed and been sitting in the, that spot for too long, it's got kind of a round clamp that goes over the entirety of the of the of where the hubcap would be. So I think we're gonna get one of those and I don't think it's gonna be foolproof. I think it's gonna be another deterrent and it'll give us peace of mind, which I think is maybe the most important thing. So please write some comments below if you have ideas on other ways to secure a camping site or a camper, things that you've done to make yourself feel more confident and you know uh, less concerned that somebody was gonna steal your camper or the things that you bring with you. I think people would really appreciate getting any additional insights. And please like and subscribe. I think uh, that it's super helpful. People find the content easier and that's what we're here for, right? We wanna help people like get over those, those jitters of being a first time camper and get out there and have some fun. So happy camping, everybody.